definitely want to highlight. Don, thank you so much for um, the super chat, but he puts a big win on the road, but LOL, agree or disagree, Michigan still hasn't beaten anyone yet. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll let you, you kick it off and then I'll, I'll respond. So what is your response to that? Well, um, I understand his hesitation to label this a, uh, a big win in terms of Michigan beating like a ranked opponent or opponent is playing really good football. Look, there's no doubt, especially now playing Wisconsin head to head that Wisconsin has issues. Right, you know they're they're not their t- they're they're not their typical Wisconsin team is going to win, you know nine ten games this season, especially with you know the West you know in Iowa, where Iowa's playing this year. Uh, however, they're not a bad football team. They're they are a much better opponent than Michigan's played this season. You know Wisconsin is better than Washington. They're better than Northern Illinois. They're better than Rutgers. Right. So, you know who am I missing? Who, who Western Michigan. West when Western Michigan has the first game of the year, you know they're they're much better than those four opponents. So this is the best opponent they played this year. Um, now it's beating anyone, I guess when someone's saying anyone, they may be asking for like a ranked opponent, undefeated or something like that. So from that standpoint, no, no, Wisconsin's not that. But you got to think about the circumstances uh, going into this game. You know, Michigan has a one here in two thousand one. Uh, since 2001. And also, you know, just to get a little bit more recent, especially with this uh, regime under Jim Harbaugh, the last two times there, they've been blown off the field um, in embarrassing fashion. Uh, they've been broken physically and mentally in those games. And yeah, games over before halftime. Games you know. over before halftime. And what's big about this game is that sometimes it's not the overall quality of the opponent but it's given over certain humps that have been setbacks in previous years and going to wisconsin winning at kent rando when it, of course it's a big 10 game you can't really to, to win a big 10 East, you can't afford to drop anything really right right um it, it's been a stumbling block and today they jumped over it they leaped over it right and they, they didn't they didn't just walk over it. they leaped over it so um, I thought overall it was a really good win and um, in the right direction. I'll say that. But no, they're, they're definitely Wisconsin has their issues, and they're not to me at the caliber of Ohio State or I think Michigan State maybe a little bit better than them. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I uh, I, I just the question. I feel like I talked around it a lot. I, like um, I think you basically said that you agree that Michigan still hasn't beaten anyone yet. But, That's what it yes. seems like you you said. Is that yeah. is that not true? Well, could, well, here's the problem with answering that question because today I thought was a really good win, a much better win than any other win this season, and I thought they proved a lot that they are. Michigan is at least a a good team, a good team. Oh, Michigan's a very good team. A very I, I good team. I thought Michigan them. proved to the, like, but I wasn't for sure of that the previous four weeks, Desmond. That's my point because of how bad the opponents were. Wisconsin was that much better. And I've seen enough of them to against Notre Dame, you know, even though that game got out of hand, and also uh, against Penn State to know that Wisconsin is better than those pre- – much better than the previous four opponents. But I don't know exactly what Wisconsin is yet. It's just like when State fans were jumping up and down, ready to burn couches in East Lansing when they went down and beat Miami, right? Because Miami was a ranked team, and people now State fans feeling like they're about to – you know, like – and that's no shot at state me, at the, but it's like now we see what Miami is, right? I'm not sure what, what Wisconsin is. I do believe, to answer your question, Don, that Wisconsin probably will win eight, eight games this year. They'll probably finish 24th, 25th in the country. So fine, it'd be a nice win. But as of now, fine. I'm talking, I'm just talking around it. Good win. No, they haven't been a great opponent yet. Fine. I'll go there, I'll leave it to you. Well, that's it. Don't change the question because he didn't say great opponent, he said Michigan hasn't beaten anyone yet. So, what does anyone mean? I don't think it necessarily means great opponent. Okay, so answer the question. Agree or disagree? Michigan still hasn't beaten anyone yet. Do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? I disagree. I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be a homer right now. I'm in my feelings right now. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> so you disagree? Yes. Michigan disagree. has beaten someone, but literally everything you said before this was basically that it's you a agree tough with question that. to add, answer. 
It's straight. It's straightforward. I feel like it's not. It's straightforward. Michigan hasn't beat anyone yet. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. Fine. I agree. Because, because see, you're you're making me. Because it's like it's a. It's I'm a, making it's a you black, answer. It's the a white or black question. It's literally a white or black question. It's like I I think the answer's in the middle. Like I I really do. I think Wisconsin's no. Solid, that's not, not. That's not how a white or black question works. It's literally there's a line down the middle. And you're either on one side or the other. There isn't. You can't be on the line. So, do you agree or disagree? Um, I disagree. I think Michigan beat someone today. I think Wisconsin is solid. And that's where I am. I I haven't wavered. Uh, just waited on you to finish. But I I yeah. disagree. I, I think Wisconsin is a legitimate team, and and I they're a legitimate team. They had the loss to Notre Dame last week, but I I mean Notre Dame's a top ten football team. You know what I mean? Like today, North Penn State. Whether, whether whether, you know, wherever they finish, like that's a really good team that that they played. And like you said, with Penn State as well, like how how many teams can you line up to play the games that they've played that would be three and oh? Like it's not that many. You know no, what I mean? No, and let's just that. even take those two games, Penn State and, and Notre Dame. There's not that many teams that are going to be two and zero after that. I'm not even sure Ohio State is undefeated. Like the way, like if the way Ohio State's playing now, like imagine Ohio State had to start their season at, you know, at which at Penn State or no, I'm sorry, at Notre Dame or that home versus Penn State. You know, I'm not sure the way they're playing now if they win those games. To your point, it's 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 not it's not like you know what I mean. Like Wisconsin limped into this game, right? Uh, you know, play losing to unranked or bad teams. Like they lost to really good teams. Like I, you know, and, and the thing is, no matter you know what you think about Penn State or Notre Dame, like still, even if you're just like, well, they're way overrated. That that could be true, but at, but nonetheless, there's still not many teams that are going to have those two games that are going to come out two and zero. Like, right? There's just not. There's, I mean. Could you name 10 teams like just the, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it's just a difficult thing to do. So I think they had a really tough schedule. I think they're a really good quality team. Um, the quarterback is having a lot of struggles right now. Like Graham Mertz just can't He's seem to get better, together. Though, and then he gets greater. hurt, you know, today. So it's 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 tough. But I, but I think Wisconsin is a quality football team. They're a really good football team. Um, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not really good, but they're they're no slouch. I know that much for sure. So. Um, it, it, yeah, it, solid win. I'm, I'm going to give them all the credit, you know, in that, in that win, because, uh, because it's big. I mean, you won on the road, you know, Camp Randall was, was jumping. They did the whole jump around, which I've never actually seen that on TV before. Like, I guess I don't watch a lot of Wisconsin home games, but, um, <laughs> it was pretty, it was, it was live. I'm like, this is, this is cool. But the interesting part too was, I don't know if you saw it, but, um, I saw on Twitter that actually the Michigan players were getting in on it too so the whole michigan yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the jump yeah. around too. that's kind of cool too I mean, yeah we're, like why not like we're we gotta, doing get, in, we gotta get into it's it fun i mean it's not just for y'all you know what i'm saying i want to get hyped we're hyped too so right no nah, i mean yeah i saw that too that's uh that's interesting um